this place just doesn't feel real at all. Welcome to the Scottish Highlands! As usual, we had a long drive ahead of us, from just north of Edinburgh all the way up to Loch Ness. I hope you enjoy the views along the way, they were truly stunning to see. Back in the Harry Potter film studios, we bought Bertie Bot's beans, edible replicas of the sweets from Harry Potter. We had all depends on your luck if you pick one with a tasty flavor or one with a disgusting one. We finally got around to try them. I got lucky. My brother, not so much. We stumbled upon Urukard Castle, an 800 year old castle, now half destroyed, serving as a tourist hotspot, and nestled quite neatly at the shores of Loch Ness. Our sole destination on this day was Loch Arkaig. Nowhere near as famous as Loch Ness and much more remote. It was apparently a filming location for Harry Potter. But as you'll see, that's not why I remember it now. to Loch Arkaig, 
there are not a lot of roads here. This whole area or region has just this aura of, of grandness. It's similar to Wales actually, in a way, but it's a huge contrast to, to England. While I've been in the uh, Bavarian Alps, th this feels different. This feels further away from society, I suppose. This that was filmed here from uh, 7 part 2 when they jumped from the dragon after their escape from Gringotts. This is the lake they jumped into um, but we don't we're not sure where exactly they got out. Maybe we'll find it. Spoiler, we didn't find it and we're not actually sure if it was filmed here where they got out of the water or if it's just where they dropped into the water. So we are driving away now and we're probably going to see the Glenfinnan viaduct and two other lochs on the way. Actually, just a few moments later, my brother had the brilliant idea to go swimming in the lake in the freezing cold water which I reluctantly agreed to. Now, we've both done quite a bit of cold exposure, so we were prepared for this. I mean, I personally have only done like cold showers and a few laps in cold swimming pools. So, doing it in a lake, a remote lake in the middle of Scotland, well, that's on a whole different level. Swimming in that lake felt really invigorating, especially after sitting in the car for so long. And afterwards we were even greeted by some Scottish residents. After that we drove past our next big destination to reach our home base for the next few days. Mora, a small town nestled between sea and loch where we get a glimpse of the Atlantic Ocean.
It's over, Anakin. I have high ground. You underestimate my power. Then. Don't try it.